Next to enter the den is Birmingham-based entrepreneur Sunny Mudha, for whom romance and international travel combined to cook up the idea for a business. The company was formed with me and my wife uh, travelling on our honeymoon, you know, all the experiences that we had, and we wanted to bring that back to the UK. Sonny has one dragon in particular very much in his sights. Peter Jones has done a lot with food and beverage brands, and we have something special that you know, I'm sure he's going to like. Will you marry me? Thankfully, she said yes. So I whisked the lucky lady away on a honeymoon all around the globe, went to places like Singapore, Thailand, China, Dubai, India. Whilst eating our way through our honeymoon travels, we tasted some amazing food and we thought we really ought to bring some of these experiences and recipes back to the UK. And so we launched a range of seven different cooking sauces from all the different regions and the family secret brand was born. We're not just a one-trick curry company, we've launched a range of unique snack boxes into the marketplace and within three months they launched with Virgin Trains, which is now Avanti Trains, LNER Trains, Co-op Mid-Counties has also launched them. So, Dragons, I'm proposing to you to come join the family for £100,000 investment for 10% equity. Thanks for listening. Look forward to you trying all these lovely delights. Wonderful. A range of multicultural food products inspired by a globe-trotting honeymoon is the offering Sunny Mudhar is serving up for the dragons. He's looking for £100,000 in exchange for a 10% stake in his business. Oh, God. This is not easy to eat with a spoon. Is anybody else struggling or am I really just messy? Tej Lalvani is first to chew the fat and he wants to know why Sunny's brand will stand out in such a crowded marketplace. Sunny, I think it's a great enthusiastic pitch. Thank you. And what I really love is your colour coordination in the outfit. Grey, white, blue. <laughs> the perfect entrepreneur outfit. Well done on that. So look, there are a lot of sources out there. So why would I come to Family Secret? So the source market is competitive, and like, we know that. Within the source aisle, it's the same old brands that are there, and people, people are looking for something a little bit more exotic, and that's what we're trying to offer. There's so many sources. What's different about your source? Okay, so taste is one thing, but otherwise, what really is different? So we've, like, in the pipeline, we've got Korean, Japanese... Uh, so is your African play the version. international aspect? Yeah, is that so, what yeah, you're, you're all doing? One brand, yeah. We've got so many different variety all under one brand. Um, there's nothing really out there that are innovating in this particular market. Sonny. Peter. Hi. Hi. I think your story is really good, but you don't really say what you do on the tin. The family secret. I don't know that your international cuisine or your international sources. I mean, look, we, you know, we're simple, real food, um, flavours from all around the world based on, you know, much of our travel. Clearly in the packaging, it does say what it is, but, you know, we're trying to... If you do say flavours from around the world, but, you know, it just doesn't hit me mm -hmm. when you say family secret. And it's a very... I don't know what the logo is. It looks like a cappuccino. <laughs> it's, it's like a small bowl with a little bit of, uh, you know, steam Wolf. coming out of it. That's basically what it is. Right. I do think you need to go back to thinking about what the brand stands for and how do you enter a market so that a consumer can immediately get what you do. An early setback for Sonny as his branding fails to get the message across to his preferred dragon, Peter Jones. Now, Tuka Suleiman wants to get a flavour of Sonny's business background. What were you doing prior to your honeymoon, uh, work-wise? Yeah, so I used to uh, sell drugs. Legally, of course. Um, I was in the pharmaceutical <laughs> trade. I would sell antidepressants. Viagra, so I, I saw Viagra into the marketplace. So are you still involved in that? No. Or are you 100% involved in this business now? Yeah, so this is 100% what I do, yeah. What I want to know is some numbers so we'll get an idea of the business. Yeah, so um, okay, I go back to 2019, we did 59,000. We netted 15. This year, we finished on 131. Thousand sales and we did 22 net profit. But you've come here asking for a valuation of a million. Mm -hmm. So 
unless you found oil, gold, or platinum in your premises, yeah. I want to know how you got valuation of a million pounds. Yeah, so it was the Jet2 deal that um, was, was about to come on in January, which was looking to launch the snack boxes on board, which was around 25 to 40,000 units per month. Right. But unfortunately, due to the current environment, Jet2 Airlines was not able to launch them into the skies. Sonny dangles a juicy but on ice travel contract as justification for his valuation. Deborah Meaden now wants to know how the entrepreneur plans to make his products a fixture on the supermarket shelves. Sonny. Hi, Deborah. Um, I presume you're hoping to get into some of the big stores? Absolutely. So, how many SKUs do you think they're going to take off you in the first instance? Uh, I reckon they'll take at, at, at least five, five of the range. OK. That's quite a big ask for a brand-new product. Now, to get those five SKUs, you're going to have to have a compelling reason why they're going to switch out another brand to give you that space. Then you're under massive pressure because you've got five SKUs. And I promise you, three of them won't work. Now, the trouble is you've designed into your brand that its raison d'etre is that it really only works as a collection. Doesn't it? For you to be world flavours, mm. you've got to have a selection of world flavours. Um... I slightly disagree. I mean, uh, you know, we would you go... You can completely disagree. Yeah, yeah. Um... Because there is no such thing as slightly disagree. Well, yeah, exactly. So yeah, I disagree. So we I, disagree, I yep. disagree, um, you know, in the nicest possible way. Uh... You don't even have to be nice about it. Tell no, me exactly. why I'm wrong. So, so basically, I mean, when we go into, you know, the retailers, we don't see the sources from all the different world cuisines all cluttered together. They're in the, they're in the little spots that, you know, Chinese, Thai, Indonesian, there's not much of the Korean, there's not much of, and that's what we're looking to kind of, to kind of take over. So, all oh, right. So you're expecting to them to be broken up. You're expecting yeah. that family secrets, yeah. flavors from around the world, one bit to appear here and another one to appear over there, because the difference. What you're not getting is that the difference between you and them <laughs> is that they have a brand and they have a very strong brand. Mm. But uh, I think up against what's out there right now, I think our brand stands out. I don't think your brand does stand. I don't think it tells a good enough story, and okay. you've heard that repeated down the line. Sure. We might all be wrong, but That's... there's quite a lot of experience in here. The entrepreneur's branding has been brought into question again. But it appears there is one aspect of Sonny's pitch that Sarah Davies finds palatable. Those tie-ins with some high-flying plane and train companies. The travel deals that you've got, they aren't easy to come by. No, absolutely. So how did you get those contracts? Oh, oh um, just myself. I've got a sales background, and it, it, it was just me, like, banging the phones, emails, etc. Right, excellent. And what's the longer-term vision? What's the plan? What do you intend to do with the money that you get today? And what do you see the next step on the journey being? Yeah, so the next, the next step is to scale it and work on the messaging about who Family Secret is. So, so, sorry, you, you, you're going to have to sell it to me as to yeah. why I want to invest, basically. Yeah, why, no, why do I want to be on this journey with you? Yeah, so, look, we want to develop our uh, online presence, and that's the way, uh, you know, a lot of the market seems to be going, so a lot of the money is going to go towards marketing and advertising it. OK. So I said you kind of needed to sell me on it. Yeah, and I haven't sold you on it. You got it. Right, OK. What I wanted is the vision. Where is this business going? And that's what I just felt like I was lacking from you. So as much as it's a great product, I won't be investing. Sorry about that. I'm out. Sarah Davies is underwhelmed with Sonny's vision for the future and becomes the first dragon to decline a deal. And it looks like those earlier reservations about the product's branding are still preoccupying Peter Jones. I think you're, you're entering a really tough space and because this is such a, a really competitive marketplace, I like to invest in things that are very focused, but really grab you and you understand the direction. And sadly, I think that you don't have that. And as a result of that, I'm out. OK, thanks. Cheers, Peter. 
I don't think that your brand is as strong as you think it is. And you're gonna have a devil's job getting some of these big stores to give over that. Because don't forget, they've got to knock somebody else out of, off the shelf and that you've got to convince them that this is gonna sell more. It, you know, it's not good enough for me. So I'm really sorry, Sunny, I won't, won't be investing, I'm out. Sunny. Too bad. You haven't got one hero product that says, that's my 10 grand a week product, and that holds the business together. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We you've come in here we... with a valuation of a million pounds, been very ambitious, yeah. um, and unfortunately, yeah. I haven't got a magic ball that says, oh, so what Sally tells me will come right in two years, three years, four years' time. Sure. You know? So on that basis, Sunny, I'm not going to invest and I'm out. Four dragons have found the entrepreneur's food proposition difficult to swallow and have exited negotiations. Any hopes of investment now rest on Tej Lalvani. Sunny, I can see you've tried to make a few different things work, start with the sauces and you've got an opportunity with the travel. And I think the taste is good, the idea is good. But unfortunately, investing in your business today is not a viable option in terms of the way it looks, the sales that you're doing, and it's all over the place. So, I'm out. Tej Lalvani teeters, but refuses to tuck into an investment, and the entrepreneur leaves the den empty-handed. It's a shame that we didn't get a dragon on board. You know, I'm just happy that I went into the den and stood my ground, because, I mean, they're tough. Good salesman. Yeah. But, you know, he lacks focus. And he lacks a good uh, brand consultant like Peter. <laughs> yeah, of <laughs> course. The messaging in our brand could be strengthened. I think it was great feedback to have had, and we will make a success of it.